Guys, we are still number two. This is ridiculous. I'm actually losing my mind a little. We're still number two. Anyway, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I have lost my mind completely because after a 63 to 7 blowout of Texas A&M last game, we're still number two. And I, it just it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't. Like, would it sit well with you guys? I'm sure it doesn't. All you UAB Dynasty faithful would know that this is completely ridiculous. We're about to go over recruiting. I, I'm actually triggered still. I'm still triggered. Like, go to Starbucks triggered. Like, good God. I am just, I'm that triggered. I, I, I think we are the best team in the country. We have receiving votes. We were number one for the longest time. And all of a sudden, one bye week, all of a sudden decides that we're number two. I'm actually triggered. Yes, we're still playing for the national championship if we win these next two games. Because if we lose one of them, you can kiss our national championship hopes goodbye. But we still are going to the SEC championship game. So that's at least something. Um, we, we're still in the lead. for We're, we're going to take the lead on Ben Smith. That's, that's kind of obvious at this point. We got a week 13 match here or a, week, oh, a visit here from him. Wesley Thompson, we're going to retake the lead on him. No worries there. Uh, Jermaine Harris, we're going to take the lead on him today. Uh, same with Tejon Kemp. We got a visit from him. We may have even, like, completely blow Nebraska out of out of the picture. Um, we're going to blow these two teams completely out of the picture as well. We're going to get Brandon Goodman. We're going to get Brian Oliver. Oh, we already got a lead for Brian Oliver. But Vanderbilt's got a Week 13 visit. I don't think they're going to live up to snuff even though they're only 90 points ahead or behind us. Uh, but Dylan Williams also in the we're, we're pulling away on him. So like I said, I am actually still, I'm still triggered. I, I don't know wh what it is that is preventing me from going number one in the country again. So you're not going to see the recruiting completely fill up um, this week or next week or anything like that. Because I don't want anything else to you know go in there. But Georgia Tech is still number one. They barely beat Pitt. We destroyed, and I literally mean destroyed, Texas A&M last week. And yet Pitt gave them a, a heck of a match, and they're still number one. I don't get that. They still have two games left. I think one of them is against South Carolina. It's Georgia Tech, South Carolina, and then Virginia Tech. We have one game left on our regular season schedule, and that is Mississippi. Um... Iowa's on there as well at number three. Notre Dame four. Oregon five. Well, Houston six. Texas seven. Oklahoma eight. Navy nine. Auburn ten. Georgia 11. They dropped a spot after they lost last week to Auburn. So that's why Auburn's there and Georgia's here. Um, Miami 12. Clemson 13. Ohio State 14. Tulsa 15. Stanford 16. Nebraska 17. Oklahoma State 18, Washington 19, California 20, Kansas is at 21, Mississippi State 22, South Carolina dropped 16 spots after losing to Florida by 25 points, uh, Colorado 24, Oregon State 25. So look at the receiving votes, Virginia Tech and Boston College dropped out, Virginia Tech is in the receiving votes, so is Syracuse, Central Michigan, Tennessee, Air Force, Florida, TCU, Alabama. After two, their two and five start, they've bounced back to 500, but they don't they don't deserve receiving votes. I can tell you that much. And BYU. These rankings this year have been so so screwed up that I can't take them seriously. We have two teams that are five and four and in the top 25. It's ridiculous. We have a ten lo a three loss team in the top 10. Mississippi State, number 22 in the country. At 7-3, yeah, like I said, we're going to the SEC Championship game. You look at the standings. Obviously, no one else is competing with us right at this very moment. And Georgia, looks like we may be facing them in the SEC Championship game unless uh, they lose and Tennessee wins out. I don't see that happening, though. I think Georgia, you know, they had their one, their one hiccup, and I think they're done. I think they're going to win out. It looks like it's going to be Georgia versus UAB in the SEC Championship game. I Again, for like the another... I think two out of three seasons that we've had the SEC championship game, we faced Georgia now. And even even so, it gets worse. It gets worse for us UAB fans. Fred Greer had 220 yards rushing, no touchdowns, still in lead in the Heisman vote. 
Justin Kelly had eight touchdown passes last week. Still a second place vote. I, I don't get this game. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <sighs> but award final or bowl projections, obviously. We're going to see, obviously, looks like we're going to go to the national championship game unless it's proven otherwise. Um, other than that, I really got nothing for you guys. Um... I will see you guys on the field against Ole Miss in the regular season finale. And we are underway here for the last regular season game here against Ole Miss. Daniel Alexander, your boy. Out to the 20, to the 30, to the 40, to the 42-yard line. Nice. Very good. Very good. I like it. Who wouldn't like that Second kind of return? Second and nine. All right, Kelly. Let's get that Heisman back. James Hester Jr. first down. Let's go. Let's go. Get the corner. There you go. First down. There you go, Aaron. See, he didn't have that much of a contribution last week, but he's, he's good. He's a good player. Can we get a field goal from this long from Evans? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to try that either. I'd rather get the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He launches one for the Wow, that was way out of bounds. Holy cow. It was either that or take a sack. I wasn't I think the best sack. situation we could do here is just go for it. I don't trust my kicker's leg right away. He's gonna try and scramble. Oh, James Hester. Let's go. 31 yards inside the five. It's the ninth play of the drive. Justin Kelly. Oop. Frank Clement touchdown. <laughs> he's good. He's been getting a lot of touchdowns lately, man. I'm telling you, man. It's Frank Clement, man. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. All right, yo. Come on, defense. Let's go. It's time to put in that work. Oh, nice interception. Already putting in that work on defense. Let's go. First defensive play of the game. Thomas Mueller picked it right off. Whoop. Interceptions in a career. Thomas Mueller has already broken the school record. But I think Robert Roth actually is, like, they're trading spots right now. Third and two. Let's make this happen. Scramble. Oh, Frank Clement. Oh, my God. How do you get that? How do you just get that pass like that? Right in there. Right between the eyes. They think they're hot stuff. Guys, this, this team thinks they're hot stuff here. All right, fine. They're, they're setting blitzes left and right. They think they're hot stuff. They, they want to be aggressive. That's fine. You can have that first. I'll take that first down over that any day. You want to be too aggressive? I'll make you pay. I'm taking a. I'm taking a touchdown. A two touchdown lead early on. UAB is up a score. Thank you. Two touchdown passes already. Sending that blitz. I don't know, they, they can have that. I don't they really care. They spread me out and then draw play every time. I don't get that. That's like the most common play in the playbook for them now. Get down. I hate this crap. This stuff has got to stop. out and draw. I will send a blitz. This crap can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Oh, he did not catch that. There's no way. Total BS. He did not catch that. Yet they claim he caught it because somehow, some way, he, he he's just Jesus. Here we go again. And then draw play. Is that what you're gonna do? Is that you're gonna do that play? Spread out, spread out, and draw. Boom! Get out of the way. Just get out of the way. It ain't gonna work. Screen pass. Get down. 
Get sacked. That was too predictable. Fourteen three. All right, that's fine. That is cool. That is cool. Third and twenty one. Nah, <laughs> now the shoes on the other foot, isn't it, Sin? <laughs> funny. Oh my God, Daniel Alexander is like a god out here. That dude is amazing. I'm going to expose your zones, your zone defense, real quick. Let me do that. Daniel Alexander's not gonna get caught for that. Or he's not gonna he's not gonna get beat. Let me expose your zone coverage real quick. It's garbage. Acceptable. Your cheesy ways must end. Keep computer. You think this is you think this is a game? You think this is a game? Yeah, you guys think this is a game. You guys think this is a game. Let's I'm just go. not kicking a fifty one yard field goal. My kicker can't do it. He's a he's a freshman kicker. What do you expect from him? He's on the run. Wide open, James Hester Jr. You think this is a game? Jay Henderson. Oh my goodness, he actually caught a pass. <laughs> Touchdown again. And 17. So this is what happens when you know you've messed up. Ooh, Matthew Lynch, stop it. That looked like it was painful. You guys suck. First down. You ain't stopping William Davis. Mm -mm. 185 passing yards already. Oh my god, Aaron Hardy. 17 yards. That's what I'm talking about. Touchdown passes here in the first half, man. Let's make it happen. A short yardage defense here. He's gonna try or I can just take it myself, and Justin Kelly can still get his boosted stats. Playing some emotional football. Quick out to his receiver. Get him down. There's no reason why he should have got 11 yards on that play. Absolutely none. Oh my god, this is getting ugly fast. <sighs> not gonna work like this. We cannot let the quarterback get all the time in the world with that zone with our zone defense being as good as it is. Come on. Yeah! Get these plays to work. I don't get this. And whoa, I think I I honestly thought he may have gotten a touchdown there, but I guess not. I think they're gonna look at this. I think that may have been a touchdown. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. See, it's hard to tell both feet were touching at the same time. I don't know. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So yeah, that's a touchdown. I'm not enjoying how you are sending seven people at me. Oh my god, the break. 49 yards later, first down. We, we gotta stop dropping the ball. Right there to Jay. He actually caught another pass. Jay Henderson's catching passes. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, Frank Clement is so good at running routes. If you're gonna get blown out, all right, defense. Get ready. Get ready for them screen passes here in the second half. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Why are we giving up these grown plays? ass man? Look at this. L look how dominant he's gonna be on this play. He's a grown. They're short of the first. I told you he's going to miss it. It's 35-10. Oh, my God. James Hester Jr., first down. 16 yards. One's playing too tight, one's playing too lax. 
Oh, stay on your feet! 33 yards in NCAA history to get negative rushing yards and a touchdown. A rushing touchdown. Bah! Touchdown. Woohoo! Man, that was close. Five touchdown passes. We gotta start being bullies. We gotta bully the people on the defensive end. They gotta double team Andy Payne for like a second, too. I don't know why they motion him over when he's just a route runner. Oh, come on! Get your man! The Whose man was that? Certainly wasn't number 52's. It wasn't... It wasn't Wright's. Oh my god. What is this game right now? Now he's scrambling. Oh, come on. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You already know I'm coming with the blitz. Gives it to the back. That's a great tackle at the nine. He gets it up, and it's puts the uprights. <clears throat> We're going to get another touchdown. That's the goal. Putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. UAB looking to build on this commanding lead here. Oh my god, Justin Kelly, 21 yard run. That's what we need. Big play right there. Holy cow. Over the middle, Will Davis, first down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Keep going. Keep that train moving. Justin Kelly's going to get his. Oh my god, 20 yards later, another first down. 22 of 32 for 358 and 5 touchdowns. We're going to make it 6 on this play. Touchdown again. William Davis, 4-6. Six. six touchdown passes. Let's get it. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. South Carolina beats South Alabama. Certainly is a good thing to look at there. Now they have this mentality that they, th they think they can do whatever they want to us after they get one touchdown. It ain't going to work like that. Boop! <laughs> oh, you thought you could be slick. You thought you could be slick and do that on me. It ain't going to work. Oh, Will Davis. Bada bing. Bada boom. Ain't him for anything. I suppose. They they had a good lead on Alabama, now it's gone. Alexander in the open. Touchdown. Let's go. 56-13. Justin Kelly's about to throw for 400 yards. Robert Roth, that was your ball to get. That duck, that was a duck, and yet the receiver still ended up with it. That was a duck. Dude has three sacks this game. Oh, you ain't even good. You you can't even no. Stop it. That was a lame play call. We're going for 400 yards passing, man. I only need two more yards to get it. And he's shown earlier on that touchdown that this guy can also hurt you with his feet. So he's a guy you have to be aware of, not just with his ability. Oh Jesus! How did this happen? He's out to the 30. Oh my God! Steve McDaniel. 11 yard first down. First catch of the day. <sighs> Boom! Over the middle, first down, Frank Clement. I swear to God, I am cutting Jay Henderson at the end of the year. I don't care. He sucks. Zips it to the back. How does a linebacker catch up to Aaron Hardy? Good grief. Third down. Oh my god, William Davis. Perfect pass, too. On, oh my goodness. That is your game. Final score, UAB. 63. Ole Miss, 13. 
another blowout victory in, in, in a ridiculous fashion. I, I don't understand why they run the ball when they're down by 50. I don't get this. They have no incentive to try and score again. They have better chances of scoring when passing. I don't get it. I don't. I'll never understand it. Tell, someone tell me in the comment section why they do it. I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't make the play calls with my, like, like this. I can't. But if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Till then, I'm Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.